So okay, so so moving moving back into these songs, and then and then why why did a record not happen? Why did the band not happen? Why did the label deal not uh, continue? Oh uh, well, there was a lot of reasons. I mean, we were um, we were we were very very unreliable as an as a as a band, mm -hmm. um, and we also as entertainers, you know, just really never considered that people might want to hear the cuts off the album what, that they might actually know mm -hmm. you know we would always play our latest you know newest uh um you know stuff that we had written yeah oh and i forgot the velvet underground i can't i can't you know i can't leave that out of my top 10 mm -hmm. um so you've got to put that in and, yeah. and lou reed and you know all that stuff was quite influential for me mm -hmm. um yeah, you know, they, I think Columbia just felt like, uh, you know, we were sort of unmanageable and, and, and mainly what I really think is that, you know, you got to remember this is the, the era of, um, of records. And so, you know, we are, our, our records on the first uh, CBS raw power was a dismal failure. Yeah. It hit, it hit about, I don't know, maybe it hit the top 100, you know, for one second, mm -hmm. and then just plummeted into the bargain bin. Yeah. And so, um, so I think CBS, in the limit, they said, you know, hey, uh, you know, these guys are interesting in a way, but they're not making us any money, and they're, they're you know, hard to deal with, and, mm -hmm. you know, essentially, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who who else deserves some um, some of the credit in the writing of these songs? Like, what did Scott or Ron do, or Scotty Thurston, or uh, actually nothing? Mm -hmm. You know, they were all they were all written the same way. With you know, except for the ones that are noted on the album, like mm -hmm. like um, there's a song called "Sea Creatures of the Hollywood Hills." Yeah. Which was essentially a jam uh, that Ronnie came up with. Mm -hmm. And Ig kind of improvised over that, so he got he gets a writer's credit on that, mm -hmm. and uh, and Ig wrote uh, "I Got to Write," yeah. and other than that, they're they're all mine. I mean, essentially, the way we we would write is, uh, you know, I would come up with a riff and um, play it a whole bunch of times, you know, over a course of several days, and if I still liked it. Um, by then, then I would, you know, bring it to Ig and, and see if I could sell it to him. And if he liked it, then he'd start some lyrics and then we'd work up a bridge or whatever and, and um, you know, move the song forward that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of why you hear, uh, this is in fact one of my challenges in, in producing this record was to, you know, gather up all the versions of these songs because although the chords are, are pretty much the same, yeah. um, the lyrics, Ig always would <laughs> use working lyrics. Yeah. And so kind of uh, try different things out, stream of consciousness at different shows. Hmm. So there's, you know, there's lots of different versions of the lyrics, and I had to sort of, you know, come up with what I considered to be the, you know, the essential lyric for that song. Right. What, how would you characterize Iggy as a, as a lyricist? Like, what, what is the world he painted with that band? I, you know, it, it varies from mm -hmm. depending on the time period, but I, I think he actually is an outstanding lyricist. Um, you know, the, um, the style of writing that he developed uh, is, you know, is uniquely his own, but it, it is also a very, very, um, very descriptive one. Mm -hmm. And so he, uh, you know, later when we did Kill City, for example, it's a, it's like a series of short stories, really, mm -hmm. you know, little vignettes about little things that happened to, to us in LA. Yeah. And, uh, and this, and this material, was maybe a little more uh, ambitious. Mm -hmm. I would say, uh, you know, frankly, you know, it is a, a very valid successor to Rock Power. Mm -hmm. And I think the, um, you know, the, the you know, sort of the, the canvas that these songs are written on 
is a bigger one because we had bigger aspirations hmm. um, after Raw Power. So we thought, you know, we thought we really um, could take it over the top, mm -hmm. uh, which is what we had hoped for Raw Power. Yeah. Of course, none of that stuff happened yeah. until more more recently. But um, but anyway, yeah. I mean, that I mm -hmm. think uh, Iggy is a uh, is one of the best as far as lyrics go.